marketers, undercover agents, right. sending in here, you know, trying to disrupt things, make things difficult. Right. Well, I think uh, those protesters who take our resources, our people, to the uh, screaming and yelling are the real undercovers. Infiltrators. Because when you scream a lot, people get annoyed. Yeah. If you scream here, like, like this can be another Chicago here, right here. Yeah. Scream like, start screaming, yelling uh, Goldman Sachs, yell government. People get annoyed. They're gonna say, it's just normal, you know, don't blame them. They're gonna say, hey, uh, why are you yelling, you know, like a little child? Why don't you um, build it, make it? You don't have to yell. I'm not blind. I'm not deaf. They get annoyed. They, they, they think you treat them like they're blind and deaf. They're not like, they're not here. They're here. You don't even whisper. Listen, sometimes you don't even have to speak this normal volume. Even whisper, they know, they, they hear, they understand it. People are not stupid. Because our organizers are infiltrator, inf infiltrated and they take every resource to the protest, screaming. Right now they're giving out food. That's good, at least uh, they don't discriminate who's gonna eat. Let's see, let's see what they have for dinner. Yeah. We should work on, on doing everything you said, you know? I agree with you, we should work on trying to build that something. Think about it. People like you uh, screaming or people like you really taking charge of your own problem and building it. But it, I'm not saying go in the farm and do it. I'm saying do it in the public. Feed them. Take care of the poor and homeless around the park, wherever you are. You know, feed them, clothe them, shelter them, uh, educate them, you know. That's that's much better than going to Chicago I'm telling you this is much better than going to Chicago but at least those except for three faces maybe they're all new new to me their faces that means so they didn't know occupy obviously probably they're here to learn yeah. for example that's a good because it's 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 uh, building a community you know education feeding that's the best and maybe we have some clothes, you know, but we have to do it really uh, focus on this instead of screaming too much. You know how much money spent going to Chicago on the buses, you know, bus and hotels? It's a fortune. If you really compare it, well, I don't know how much we're uh, giving to the poor here. Never. I believe like that has to be, you know, I believe that's a good idea to go to Chicago. Yeah? Yeah, because look what's, look what's happening. Basically, if if um, if um Obama can't hold a summit without, without, without forming up a whole army of cops to basically, you know, to shut up his own people, you know, he loses start until they're losing control. You know, if, if the police can still have it to form up armies to deal with us, they're losing control. I think... Um it's, I think priority should be f uh, on the people building the alternative uh, another world and then you'll see what is people reaction to the gun if you don't do that and just try to scream people are gonna be just indifferent if you really pull uh, your you know your your wall to them then a whole country is gonna, uh, you know, be on your side. Like here, if you prove it, the whole uh, people here sitting in the benches and everybody is gonna be on your side. But if you just scream and just act like a confrontational freak, then nobody is gonna be on your side. They wanna see the proof. They don't wanna see you screaming all the time. I agree, you know, you have to uh, take them on your side, but you have to find the priority. What is the priority? 
for the resources we have. Is it pouring money on the buses or is it um, taking care of the uh, giving and taking care of the uh, poor? How we could do both? Well, both. But when night comes, you'll see some people sleeping in the bench and we have nothing for them. Never had anything. From the beginning, we even refused to deal with them with the General Assembly decisions. And then everybody start uh, saying, uh, Occupy is dead, where is everybody after the eviction? I was there live streaming every day. Everybody was coming and asking me, is it dead? Where is everybody? That's what you get. You have to get the priority, you know? Priority is people, not screaming to the government. Well, you're right, like, I'm going to try to work on that more. <laughs> I am here. Let's talk about it. You want to try it? Yeah. <laughs> you on your way. Isn't that 8? It's at 8. They want people to get there at 7.30. Uh, For real? <coughs> What's that? Right. We got issues. All right. Well, get over. Yeah, Are you walking? No, I'm going to take the train. I'm going to stop and get something to eat first. Yeah. I don't we, know. We, we buy it.